Welcome in everybody to today's session with myself, Caroline Pierce. And if you've joined me today, this is my Fit for Summer Total Body Tone Up Workout. So you're gonna need a set of light dumbbells. If you haven't got them, you can just use your body weight. And of course, I've got my power plate and vibration platform at the ready. This is the power plate move machine that I'm using today. So that vibration is gonna give added muscle activation and increased blood flow, so we get more intensity out of today's workout. So get your dumbbells at the ready, and I'll explain the session. Basically, it's gonna be 10 exercises of around 30 seconds each, which we'll repeat twice through. We're gonna start that with some movement preparation exercises and finish it off with a cool down, okay? So place those dumbbells down the side for the moment while we do the warm up. We're gonna power up the music, Alexa play. Power up your machine, set it off on around 30 hertz low amplitude, that's around a low setting, whatever you're used to. And I want to hop up with both feet around shoulder width apart, and you're gonna lean forward, hinge forward, so you're feeling a stretch through the hamstring. Okay, once you're comfortable in this position, we're gonna shift those hips from side to side. So you're going to feel that stretch through the hamstrings into the glutes and the hips. If you're utilizing the cat's form vibration, you feel that accelerated stretch all the way down your posterior chain, your backside. So just gently shift from side to side, ease yourself into this one. Nice work. And then come back to the center, reach those hands forward as far as you can, accentuate that stretch, pull those hips up and back. Up. And that's really stretching down the low back as well as the hamstring for one more and up. Keep those feet wide. This time we're going to stretch the adductor. So we're going to alternate from side to side, lifting that toe again to the stretch through the hamstring, but a little bit through that adductor as well. Okay, so we shift laterally from side to side. We should start to feel pretty good. Allow that vibration to warm the muscles, to get flexible, pliable faster and ready for today's session. Check in with yourself, how are you feeling today? Are you ready to get fit for summer? I know I certainly am. Keep flowing side to side, allow that hand to stretch and drift down the leg. Follow the line, the alignment of your movement. For five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, step back from the platform and let's stretch through the shoulders now. So I want you to take one arm underneath and across your body. So you're placing it on the platform. You're gonna feel that stretch through the shoulder along the length of the arm. Try and square off your chest to the platform and switch to the other side. Really try to square off that chest, feel the stretch. And we're gonna dynamically and flow side to side, or arm to arm, should I say. Pushing deeper into that shoulder with every movement. We feel a little bit of rotation through the spine as well. Nice stretch through the thoracic. Going feels good. And to the other side. For five, four, three, two, one. Place both hands on the platform. Round that back like this. You're tucking that chin towards the chest. And then lift the chest and the chin towards the ceiling. So it's a little bit of a cat cow. We've got our knees on the floor. And our hands elevated on the platform. Just so targeting a little bit more of that upper back. And then flow through for five, four, three, two, one. Stand up. Let's get ready to kick off this circuit. I want you to pick up your dumbbells if you have them. Meet me on the platform, feet shoulder width apart. Load those dumbbells at shoulder height with your hands. We're going to squat down. We're going to stand up. Press those dumbbells overhead and repeat. So giving you a little bit of a side angle here. Squat down. Track those knees over the toes, shift the hips backwards, and drive up those dumbbells. Nice work. A little bit lower as you get warmer with every squat. Working the booty, working the thighs, and of course following through to work the shoulders. Drive it up for me. Really push it. Squeeze those glutes at the top of the movement for five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job. Shake those legs out, how are you feeling? Next exercise, we're gonna get into a split stance deadlift, okay? So from here, so you'll stand, down, row, and back, and repeat. Are you ready? Get that nice split stance position, heels elevated at the back, let's go. So you're squeezing those glutes at the top, and squeezing those shoulder blades together as you complete your row. Of course, the platform's moving in three different directions, so it's testing your 
stability here as well, especially as that back heel is off the platform, slightly elevated and raised. So I'm really feeling this through my hamstring glute on the right leg, the forward leg. Of course, the back muscles as we row, that's the idea here. Give me one more. Nice job. Switch to the other side. Okay, so find that comfortable split stance position. Come down to me. Stand up strong. And let's go. Row and stand. Row and stand. Now again, the vibration is switching on all your stabilizing muscles, which includes your core muscles. But work with that. Engage the core of yourself as well. Make sure it's strong. And then allow vibration to activate all those smaller, harder to reach stabilizing muscles. You've got to do the essential movement yourself. We're so feeling this one, guys. Good job. Gonna give you one more after this. And stand. Yeah, right. Let's come down onto the platform. You're going to place your dumbbells on the platform, and you're going to be in this high plank position with your feet wide. From here, you're going to lift your dumbbells to two o'clock, and then to ten o'clock position. Okay. If that's too hard. Place the dumbbells down. You can just use your hands. But the feet are wide, so they don't shift. The hips don't shift side to side. Two, one, let's go. And back. Nice job. You can see my hips aren't shifting. I'm activating the glutes, working on my core to keep it all strong and stable. But all the movements just coming from the shoulder. I said lift and elevate one arm at a time. Good job. Halfway through this one. Nice work. Whew. So it's straight through 10 exercises, then we go back and repeat. Working our total body, total body toad up. Fit for summer, that's the name of the program. Fit for summer, total body toad up is the name of this individual workout. Two, and one. Nice job. Sitting on the platform now, you're gonna place one dumbbell on the ground. You just need one of them. Place it, the one around. Now this is a V set around the world. So your V-sit will either be with your feet up or your feet down, and by around the world, you mean around your head. And you're gonna circle that dumbbell around your head so you're working those oblique muscles, giving that core engagement. You ready? Two, one, let's go. So you've gotta really rotate so it's not looking at your head. Like I said, place those heels down, if you're feeling any strain in your back, it's too difficult for you. You modify by placing those feet on the ground, but still leaning your torso backwards so you feel the core engagement. Direction. Nice. Let's feel those abs working here. You got this. Number four, three, two, and one. Nice job. Back up onto our feet. We are moving through different muscle groups here. Now I'm going to have you open the next travel. I'm going to have you in this side lunge position here. As you lunge down, your bicep curl in that hammer grip and stand back up again. So go in the inner thigh and the arms at the same time. Two, one, let's go. So the weight transfers to the leg that's on the platform. And those biceps curl the dumbbells upwards towards your chest. I want you to be pushing through your heel. So therefore you're gonna get that glute recruitment on the way down. Nice job. Ooh, we are working. You got it guys. We're doing a full 30 seconds each side. That's it, nice work. Momentary break at the top here, and then we go straight back into that pretense position. Two, and one. Switch to the other side. Exactly the same thing. Get your nice straddled side lunge position. And here we go, lunge, and back. Lunge. I'm not fully releasing the weight over that leg. I'm not completely coming out here, keeping that degree of excitability, if you like, activation in the muscle the whole time. That's important, so that muscle's continually under tension and working. You just release it a little bit as you stand up. You got this all the way. Oh, my machine has stopped. It does that after sort of nine minutes. If your machine stops at any point, hit that repeat or that start button. Keep that vibration going. Three, two, and one. Nice. All right, kneeling on the machine now. We're working those level changes. From here, dumbbells at shoulder height. I get my balance point here. That's it. Sit back, hips 
thrust those hips forward. Sit back, hip thrust forward. So again, we're working a massage on the, the shins, but at the same time we're getting that glute activation. So, are you ready? Make sure you're positioned on the platform in a way that both your knees and your legs are resting. Keep working. Squeeze those hips forward. Nice work. All the way. For five, four, three, two, and one. All right, nice job. Now from here, we need a little bit of a plank marching exercise. So you're going to be in this high plank position with the dumbbells directly underneath your chest. You're going to place them forward, forward, back, and back. So it's like a marching action. Again, you can get rid of the dumbbells if you just want to use your hands. Two, one, let's go. Forward, forward, back, back. Forward, forward, back, back. Nice job. You got this. So shoulder stability, core stability. Walk those hands forward and back. The feet are wide again, just like before in our other plank exercise, so your hips aren't shifting side to side. You got this. All the way. Nice job. Coming up for the last exercise of this circuit before we go back to the top. Five, four, three, two, and one. Nice work. I'm going to get you back into that V-sit position here. Again, feet, oh, feet on the floor, or feet raised. And from here, we're going to do lateral raises. Again, we're combining different muscles, the core and the shoulders with this one. So, get yourself comfortable, lean your body back, feet off the floor if you can, and let's laterally raise those arms. Don't hunch up the shoulders like that. Keep the shoulders nice and relaxed. Lifting those arms up and down. Feeling your core engaged. This is what I call multi-muscle movements. One exercise working multiple muscles. You can use that term a lot. I think it's highly effective for getting a large amount of work done in a relatively short period of time. Five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, you place your dumbbells now for just a second, take a sip of water. We're gonna go back to the top and repeat that one more time through. We'll be standing on the platform kick that one off. So, how are you feeling? Still with me? Still feeling good? Give me a thumbs up. Alrighty. So this time around, you know what to expect. So, I suggest you can push a little harder, go a little bit deeper, just test your limits even more. Okay, that's the whole idea of the second round. We just give it everything because we know it's just a nice cool down to finish. So, I get my machine fired up again. Stepping off. And it's the squat to press. So I'll demonstrate one more time. Squat to press overhead. Are you ready to one, let's go. Drive it up. Nice. Remember that squeeze of the glutes at the top. Full glute activation. So the legs are powering the arm. The movement starts with the legs. You squeeze those glutes, you get a little bit of momentum, and you stabilize at the top with those shoulders. Nice job. Checking that clock. Less than 10. Nice job. Three, two, and one. Oh, shake those arms up. Now we're going to go into that split start, split deadlift position with the row and the stand, okay? So maybe you need some good stability for this one. Let's go in two, one, lower, lift, lower, row. There we go. Get that deadlift in and get that row. Focus on a point ahead if your balance is a little off with this one. This is something that's not moving. I am not me, I'm moving. I might make you wobble. And keep driving through. You've got these 10 more seconds here. Then we switch sides. Nice job. Give me one more. Nice, switch to the other side. There we go. The great thing about working each leg individually, it prevents us getting imbalances. So one can really work double legs, one side can often compensate for the other side, the stronger side will compensate. We don't always address those underlying imbalances. So 
tight to the sleeve through the pyramid muscles. Single leg, single arm, with the unilateral movements to avoid that happening. Right. Give me two more. Nice, and stand. Okay, place that dumbbell down. We're doing our V set around the world. You remember, it looks like this. If your heels were down last time, you think you can lift them off the ground and challenge yourself. Be my guest. In two, one, let's go. Nice big circle around the head. Feel the little breeze working. It's actually a nice little mobilizer for the back, for the spine as well. Any sort of rotation around the head exercise is going to strengthen, lengthen the spine out. Switch direction. Elongating as you reach from side to side. Feet off if you can. Let's go. Raise 